Alright, so I've had a few requests to um, remake the motion tracking tutorial I made like a year ago or something. So I am doing it, I guess. Anyway, first of all, what you want to do is get a cinematic and put it in a composition. And then you need to find like where the cinematic starts moving, which is there, and just trim it down. Then, so I'm going to have my um, my text placed here in between these two walls and then so what you need to do is find out where that like frame is out of view what no find the frame where that scene is out of view so like where the text would be hidden which it would be there so then you want to split that and then what you need to do is right click on this and no first of all you need to duplicate it then right click on it and track camera and then on the bottom layer right click time freeze frame and that will be used as a reflective layer on the text on the text so do reflective one I just said text anyway then find out where you want your second tra second tracking to be and I want it to be pretty much above where these stripes are so split where you're going to be able to see it and then trim a clip because you don't want it to um, like track camera on like this extra shit because there's just no point and again duplicate um, track camera go to the middle of the clip again time freeze frame and rename that to reflective 2 so then that give that some time to uh, work and create a new solid and then find element and before you put it on, what I always do is I just save it because sometimes when I put element on, it just crashes. Like right now, I think it's nope, it didn't crash. All right, we good. So what you want to do now is create some texts, and I'm gonna make it Rachel presents, and I'm gonna. Just that. There we go. Choose whatever font you want. I'm doing Typograph Pro because that's my fave font. And you don't have to trim the text down to the to the size of the uh, to the size of the clip. I just prefer doing that because I think it looks neater. And then you can create a new text or one that you trimmed to change for the second thing. So I'm gonna do motion tracking, bitches. I don't know why I just said that. Anyway, hide both the text layers. Um, split the element layer on like to the same length as the clip. Then on the one that you, the clip that you 3D camera tracked, click create camera, and I'm just making it neater. So then click on the element layer, do custom layers, custom texture maps, and do the first reflection. Then custom text and masks is going to be Rachel Presents. Then go to scene setup, extrude, environment, this drop down arrow, custom layer 1. That um, uses the reflection layer that you made. And you can make your own bevel or you can just use a preset one. I'm going to use this one that I made because it's got nice reflections and no I cannot give it to you because I don't know how to give you materials and bevels and custom preset shit. So it'll randomly just appear anywhere so you've got to like adjust the crap out of it to make it right so there's like your x and y's which is just like you get it sideways and up and down and then you got your Z which is like the depth and it's not always like aligned with the view if that, that doesn't really make sense like if I press X if I do X and Y right now it's kind of left and right but if I'm looking over here and I do left and right it's like kind of more diagonal so you're gonna want to rotate it and then just pull up it into position Oh, damn it. That's not what I wanted to do. 
Oh, I increase the size a little bit under particle look, and then just adjust the rotation. Oh, I can't even talk. Adjust the rotation. So I think that's in position. Now it's too far forward. So just keep adjusting it until it's good. Let's try that. Alright, that's in the wall, so let's try that. Look at that. Perfect. And just stay still and then it shouldn't be visible. Yep, in the last frame it's not visible. So when I make my cinematics, I always like after <laughs> fuck I can't talk. <gasps> So when I make my cinematics, I make the video so it will view the text, then it will go down to the floor, move, and then show another text, if that makes sense. Mm, not really, but like, see, like you can see text, floor, text. And I do it like that so um, the text doesn't glitch up because I'm moving too far away like if I was still viewing this text and just moving back into position over here the text would like struggle to stay aligned because it's just like so far away I really hope that makes sense it makes sense in my head I'm just not good at explaining anyway now to do the second text trim down the element and Open it up to custom layers again and do exactly what you did with the other one. So reflective to then motion tracking and do scene setup, extrude, environment, drop down, custom layer one. So I put on the exact same bevel to make it look nice. And then go to the meltdown clip and do create camera and then this guy will move. And he's pretty much in position just move it further back then increase the size maybe it might be a bit too big we'll see all right so then go to the start of your clip just to see that it's like not in frame because if it is in frame like like if you have it here like frame it just like kind of appears there randomly and it's just like what's going on so if you have it back far enough it looks mint and damn that's pretty good pretty much and then if you have the element layer longer than the actual clip what will happen is it'll just appear here like because there's no ca that's where the camera ends pretty much so you just gotta like shorten it to the camera and you're all good save that and then, yeah, look at that. Let's preview that bad boy. I can't believe I just said bad boy. <laughs> oh well. Rachel present. Did you see that? For a second, not even a second, the tiniest little split, millisecond I guess. The uh, element layer is too long, so you gotta make it, make sure that it's not. And you can zoom in and have a look at it closer. And it's the exact same size as the camera now, so it won't be viewed. But yeah, that's me updated. Motion tracking tutorial. Um. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, I think I can give you guys links to it. I'll leave links in the description to um, download Element, and I'll leave a link to my old um, tutorial, just if you want to see it, I guess. There's no real need to see it. But, um, yeah, I'm out.